Hi, my name is Martin Benson, and I want to thank you for taking some time to watch this video. I'm going to teach you how to take your own headshots. Now, of course, it's not a good idea to take your own headshots unless you absolutely can't afford to do something else. So I decided to put this video together just as kind of an interim thing that you use if you have no money and you want to uh, either do it completely free or you want to pay to get it retouched, uh, which is a service that I offer. Uh, I plan to show you exactly how to shoot some headshots of your own with a friend. You need somebody, obviously, to take the pictures. You don't want to take them yourself. But uh, all that really happens is you're going to go outside or go somewhere where the lighting is good, and you guys are going to take some photos. And then if you decide to go the retouching route, which I'll explain in a little bit, uh, you'll upload the photo onto the website and uh, and then within two to three days I'll have it sent back to you retouched and finalized so that it looks much more professional than uh, just the regular photograph. Alright, so uh, let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to think about is the camera that you choose. Uh, you don't want to use something that's extremely bad quality, but any point and shoot will do. Uh, any, If you have a digital SLR, like a family, friend, or someone that you know has something, uh, you could even use a cell phone camera as long as the quality of it is somewhat good. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you actually start your shoot is if you're a girl uh, or, or guy, you know, if, if you have any sort of jewelry on, earrings, uh, those sorts of things, take that off because the casting directors hate jewelry and headshots. Uh, and also make sure that your clothing isn't too wrinkled, you know, try to iron it or, you know, use something new. All right, uh, I have a little bit of clothing information on my website. Uh, if you go to the link below, uh, it basically explains what kind of clothing to wear in your shot. So uh, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is the most important thing, which is go to a place where there's good lighting. If you don't have good lighting in a headshot, uh, it's not going to really matter how good the expression or how blurry the background is, whatever it is. Uh, you just need to make sure that the lighting is good. So basically the way that that works is if you're doing a shoot inside, you're going to stand in front of a bright window because uh, that's going to fill in the face. You just kind of want to make sure that there's no dark shadows under the eyes. If you decide to go outside, you can actually go either underneath a tree or under a building or something. You know, make sure you're in the shade, not in direct sunlight, and try to watch out for the background so that there's no really bright spots in the background. Um, just kind of look when you're taking the pictures. You generally want... Uh, a slightly darker background than your subject but as long as you're standing underneath something uh, or under a building or in the shade you know you should be generally good for a headshot so uh, the next thing that I want to talk about of course is just some of the technical things uh, first off you never want to use the flash on the camera um, and so you want to focus the camera uh, make sure that when you take the picture the background isn't in focus and the subject is blurry just be kind of careful of that um, also you make sure that there's no camera shake if you can hold your hands pretty steady then you won't have that just kind of zoom in closely on the picture and make sure that uh, you don't have any shakiness to the image um, after that you want to focus on just doing some different shots you know take some horizontal shots some vertical shots so you have a variety of shots and then uh, you want to make sure that you're doing a bunch of different pictures the way that a headshot session works is you'll you'll have a friend or whoever go out and you'll take some smiling or laughing pictures and then you can do some serious ones as well and then uh, if you decide to go the retouching route uh, you'll want to select whichever your favorite picture is out of all of them and then that's the one that you're going to use so uh, just be careful of a couple of little things like uh, wind if you're a girl or you have long hair and you're outside and it's windy uh, just be careful that the wind isn't causing problems you know uh, also the angles that your face is on you don't want to be tilted too down too far down or too much to the side because the casting director will think that you're trying to hide something you want to be mostly straight on to the camera you can have slight angles um, and then uh, the last thing is just kind of making sure that you like the picture, obviously, you know, uh, take a look at it and see how everything is working together. Uh, for a headshot, you don't want to be too close in or too far out, you know, uh, pretty standard. You can see some examples online if you Google headshots, but once you go outside, you're going to take all the pictures, then you're going to come back in. The way the process with me works is 
what's going to happen is you're going to go onto the website, uh, you're going to come to this web page that you're viewing this at, or if you're looking on YouTube, you know, you can click the link below and uh, go to the page. And I recommend highly that you pay for an image to be retouched. It's going to cost not very much. It's way, way, way less than what it's going to cost, obviously, if... Uh, if you're paying for an actual headshot photographer. But what's going to happen is I'll be able to go through your image and uh, there's two different options. I have a blurry background option and a full retouching option. The blurry background is where I just go and make the background blurry for you. So it looks like the image was shot on a much more professional camera. Uh, otherwise the other option is uh, full retouching where I go through, I make the background blurry and then I also get rid of facial blemishes, I whiten your teeth, remove tiredness under the eyes, those sorts of things just to make the image really pop. Uh, I highly recommend doing at least one of the two uh, retouching options. If you don't have any money at all, you, you know, you can work without it, but it's going to be much easier to tell uh, for a casting director or whoever you're submitting the image to that it wasn't taken professionally. If you follow my lighting techniques in this video and you go out, you get yourself a good photo, and then you get it retouched with the blurry background, uh, people are going to be much less likely to ask, oh, was that taken by a real headshot photographer or was that just a friend?